here's a little hack that you can follow when you're trying to decide on the appropriateness of your attention grabber for your speech. Now you'll remember in this video, I spoke about the five parts that must be present in the introduction for every speech. Now, after you've written those five parts, what you can do is remove the second, third, and the fourth part and just read your attention grabber and see if it flows into your thesis. If there's a natural flow between your attention grabber and your thesis, then it's appropriate. If you cannot see any great link between the two, then it means it's not appropriate and you need to change it and find something that flows. So keep that in mind. The attention grabber and the thesis must flow and work together.